pretty amazing. Robotic lawnmower. Can't beat that. Inside of this box is a Novabot. And yes, it is exactly what it looks like. Think of it as a Roomba to cut your grass. I mean, that's literally what this is. It has a multi-cutting zone, planned cutting route. It even has a home security system built in because there's like a camera in here, wire-free parameter. And this is actually the N1000. So uh, it can cut up to a quarter of an acre on one charge with a 360 degree camera and front camera, just pretty darn amazing. So we, of course, are going to try this out. I think this is an amazing product. Special thanks to Novabot, who was nice enough to send this to me to demonstrate how it works. So we're going to get out our robotic lawnmower. We're going to get out the charger. We'll get it all hooked up. Then we'll show you some of the setup inside of the app. And then we'll show you this thing cutting our backyard. Now we're going to use our backyard because it's fenced in. And plus, uh, it'll just make it easy for us to not have to cut our backyard. Then we'll only have to worry about the front yard. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch and let's open up this Novabot and check it out. Also, if you would like to buy one of these, I have a special coupon code down below when you buy either a Novabot 1000 or the Novabot 2000. You can see 1000, 2000, there's two different models. The one I'm showing you here is the 1000. Let's open this up. You can see here, it kind of has a check mark for the 1000, mentions robotic lawnmower and charging station. And then at the bottom is actually a difference of the 1000 and the 2000. So if you look at these side by side, the mowing area is essentially doubled on the 2000. Um, and really outside of that, you get more cloud storage and a bigger 9.8 amp hour battery versus the 6.4 amp hour battery. Other than that, the cutting blades, the size, dimensions, everything is all exact the same. So let's open this on up. So this is the bottom of the Novabot and it uh, looks like these three things here are the blades that will spin on this to cut the grass for you. Not really a whole lot going on the bottom, just some wheels and like bumper and stuff. Let me put it down the back of it. You do have like an emergency stop button. So this is uh, I believe the 360 degree camera and then there's also a camera right here. So lots of technology in this thing. As you can see, a little proprietary slot for charging. Looks like that. Slides right into there to charge. And we'll of course hook this up some kind of way outside so that uh, the Novabot can drive up to it to plug in. So I'm gonna look through this manual some to make sure I can explain to you exactly what everything is. And then uh, we'll come back, we'll set this up, we'll set it on a schedule and we'll show you it actually working. All right, so this is our backyard. Hi, McQueen. And uh, this is where we're going to put our Novabot robotic lawnmower. This here is the uh, charging base station, essentially. And actually, back here is where everything uh, kind of easily plugs in. So step number one, this is the GNSS antenna, which has to be installed into the ground. So we're going to put the poles together. This cable runs from this to uh, this one right here. And we got to find a level spot, a level spot in the yard to put the base, but also the base has to have power. So we have some power here and power over here. We're going to use one of those two and probably either there against the fence or maybe here up against the deck. Not entirely certain yet. It does say actually to avoid metal fences and there is a uh, like metal mesh on that. So I think this is a pretty level spot. Now, one thing I did do because this robotic lawnmower would not be able to get the edges because, well, it's a robot lawnmower. So I went ahead and weed eated the edges. And then uh, you can see we got a little bit of high enough grass here that we should be able to cut. I'll basically set this up and let it run out here and cut the grass and see, uh, see what it looks like. So let's put this together and find our spot for this. All right, so I think that'll be the location and then we should be able to snake the cable up here and run it over to that power outlet. These actually screw together real nicely. Like this is a pretty darn good pull. And this little piece here goes right on top. And the stakes go on the bottom to put into the ground. And then this part screws right onto there. All right, so now that our antenna is together, we take this off and then we'll be able to run the cable from here to the back of the base station. And that's our uh, antenna all together. Nice.
Nice. Threw in the antenna cable. So at this point, our antenna is all set up and wired. So now these are the stakes, which go into these six holes so that this kind of stays on the ground and does not move. All right, all six of those are now in. Next step is run the power cable. All right, so now we're screwing in and running our power cable. So screw this side into here, like so. And I think I'm gonna use some screws to hold this in. Right now it's just kind of hanging by these hooks I have. Right now it's just kind of hanging by these hooks I have. And I have it ran to there where we can plug it in. So now we'll kind of take this cable and drop into that hook. All right, so here at the bottom is where you'll run these cables through. And so take your antenna cable and kind of push it through there. And when you pop this down, you can reach in and pull it through and then plug it into the antenna side and then repeat for your power cable. I would definitely recommend not mounting this before you do this. Of course, it's just how I set it up right here next to this deck, but just a small recommendation. And there we go. With those cables tightened, you just kind of push them back in and close your little flap and there we go this is now officially all wired up so the next step would of course be plug this side into power and now cool things this is actually a handle for uh carrying it and this is your on and off switch so we're gonna go ahead and flip this on and then i'm gonna set it over here bingo Bada bing. all right so now look at our little screen we've got english so yeah we want english so this is like a security pin code. You uh, just kind of use this to pick whatever number you want and uh, then you download the app. All right, now we're uh, kind of logged in here. So we got 27% battery, no Bluetooth or Wi-Fi yet. So let's download the Novabot app. So yeah, search the uh, Google Play Store or App Store for the Novabot app. And so this is the Novabot app. Install this app on your phone, create you an account and log in, and then we'll show you what to do next. All right, so this is what the app looks like once you're logged into it. So we will click add charging station. We will allow this while using the app and allow it to find nearby devices. And so then you're able to just click this button, allow while using the app, to scan the barcode on the front of the base station, which to scan the little code down there in the corner on your base station. There we go. All right, so once you're on this screen, just put in your Wi-Fi password to the Wi-Fi network at your house. And there we go. It says Wi-Fi signal strong, GPS signal strong. So we'll click next, let that load. All right, and so now it wants me to scan the serial number that is on the Novabot. So same as before, we'll click this and we'll go scan it all right there's our code and with that scanned we'll click finish and we'll let that load and now that that's done loading i uh novabot has joined my wi-fi network it tells me that mine is offline let me uh kill the app and reopen it all right so now our little screen here you can see there got a little wi-fi signal and this actually said novabot turned over so when i had pulled that up to scan the code it like didn't reset so i just hit stop entered back in my pin and now it's showing online in my novabot app so if i was to click start it uh should just actually start now it only has 22 percent battery so i need to uh charge it but then there's also the schedule oh i gotta make a map start mapping all right, well, I need to charge it first then. So I'm gonna charge it and then we'll uh, we'll try to map it. Which, from what I know about this, it uses that barcode there to find it, but we can essentially push it onto here. And then when it goes into that, that should get it. Yeah, I can see it's adding now. So that is uh, what the little animation looks like as it's charging. So I'm just gonna let this charge up and uh, I'm only gonna let it charge for a couple hours so we can try to do the mapping today. And then I'll set a schedule tomorrow to let it actually cut the grass here. So I decided to come back and just check the app. It's only been a few minutes since I put it on the charger and it's already at 29%. So it's at a 10% and maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So I don't think this will take very long to get a full charge. So it's 5, 14 PM. It's been about an hour and a half. This thing is fully charged. So let's map out our yard and uh, then we'll set it on a schedule and show it running. Novabot's fully charged. And last time when I hit start, yeah, I wanted to map. So start mapping. And let's follow this little process here. So after successful mapping, do not move the charging station and GNSS. If moved, remapping is required. Okie dokie. We're ready to start mapping. So we're gonna click start mapping. We don't have any of that. It's a perfect square. So that should make it easy. All right. So it looks like I can use this arrow to back it up. 
Yeah. Okay. To the edge of your lawn and then click start. All right, so we're gonna back it on up and we can even turn it. Wow, this is insane. So we have it in the corner. We're gonna click start. Remember the starting point and then remotely control to walk along the edge of your lawn. Yeah, it's actually making a line now. And we're actually coming back to our uh, little starting point here. We have selected done. Um, we'll confirm. Please confirm the Nova Vot is in front of the charging station within five meters. No. All right, so I had to completely reboot the Nova Bot and the base station because it told me to drive to the edge, which I did, but the edge was not close to the uh, base station. So I had to completely remap it. That was fun, but now we're done. We'll select done and then, uh, all right, now it's facing the charge station. We'll confirm. Confirm it's within five meters of the charging station. Yes, Nova Bot is returning to the charging station automatically. All right, now it's, uh, now we got another loading screen here. And so if we needed to add a obstacle you can add that and yeah it can it's now uh, got a pretty good map of our yard here if I click start mowing it uh it should just start mowing let's click it cutting height we want it low two centimeters well we'll go we'll go three centimeters starting navigation successful all right let's see how loud it is Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's actually cutting my dress. Well, it should see it. Now, uh, this area, there's not a lot, but it should go down here and turn right. Yeah. It's basically going the exact uh, line that I did. And now it's going back. Okay. I thought it was going to go up. Oh, it did. It's going like right beside the other one. You can see there where it kind of cut. So, oh, and it even like fixed itself. It was about to go out of line. And it straightened itself up. Pretty amazing. Robotic lawnmower. Can't beat that. Well, there we go. Now it can uh, just cut my grass. We're gonna set up a time lapse and uh, see what the yard looks like uh, in a little bit. I'm just gonna let this keep running for a minute. While we're here, let's let's put it to the test. Let's uh, see what it does. I'm gonna put my foot up. Look at that, it knew. <laughs> What's it say? What's it say? No goodbye is cutting grass. Oh, and then once it was clear, it just kept going. So if you do have any obstacles in your yard, you'll probably have to make sure those are in because otherwise it would just stop and just not continue, I believe. All right, so this is a little animation. Uh, you can pause it and stuff from the app here. I like that, that's pretty cool. That was pretty thick and it went through it. And you can kind of see like, here's the thicker part. There's another thicker part. But well, you can see it came through and I mean, dice this stuff up pretty nice. Look at that, that's the thick area which it's going through now. Oh. <laughs> Still though, taking the thicker grass like a champ. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, this is chopped up pretty finely. Now, to add to this, uh, we're gonna add in an obstacle area. So we're gonna add in an obstacle area. So you click add area, and then it puts you back on this screen, click next, click next, click next, click next, and click start mapping. And then you just select obstacle, and then you drive the car to the obstacle, just like you did on the other one. Drive it to the obstacle, start, go around the obstacle, and end it very uh, exact same thing you did before. So now our little red area is the obstacle. All right, so we changed just a couple of things. I did move the uh, GPS pole out a little bit and uh, had remapped it yesterday, which was, you know, before doing some of the other tests with getting this running. And we also actually added an obstacle for our little fire pit. So yesterday we tested, we kind of did this area, then added the obstacle. And so now I'm just going to let the, uh, the whole thing run. Let's let it run through and uh, see how it does. Put up a time lapse of our GoPro again. So 
I can say. I think the yard looks pretty darn good. Really, really can't complain. It's now ran the full thing. Every corner's been gotten. It was able to avoid that. I'll have to weed eat that, which is natural. At the end of the day, you can even see the lines in here. I mean, very, very good. It tries to not miss a single spot. The dogs do run in front of it. If you have dogs, it will stop when it sees the dogs and go around them, meaning that it'll miss spots, which is exactly what happened kind of right there. It missed that spot because the dog ran out and was barking at it and went around it. So that you'll have to pay attention attention to if you have cats or dogs. Luckily, this one's scared of it. This one is not scared of it. He, he likes to bark at it. So we ended up actually uh, just locking them from coming out here while this ran for about an hour and a half. That's about all it takes to uh, cut this bit of grass. Now I do have a few more things that I want to show you from the Novabot app. So let's go in the Novabot app and show you that now. All right, so a few things to show you in the app. So first of all, when you first open up the app, they need to add a loading screen because it always shows this. So I think some people would freak out, but it's just at loading for a moment. Now, this is what it looks like when it's charging. And if you click down here on profile, you basically have your user manual, video guide, and you can get to the help center. There is settings, but uh, just to reset your password and stuff like that. Now, if we go back to here, you can see that it's charging. If I click on lawn, this is where you can see my lawn. So that's where I have it at to charge. Look, it even shows a little charging indicator there. That's my uh, little obstacle. I can also rename this, we'll call this back. Other than schedule, which this is how you'd make a schedule. So you'd, you'd click your plus sign, you select which map, choose your ride height, choose which days, what time you want it to run, etc. And outside of this, you can click on my devices. And under my devices, you can click my charging station, which just has information on the charging station. It does look like they give you a three year warranty. That's pretty nice. And click on my devices and mower, which is basically the same. And my devices, advanced settings. So these are the advanced settings for like the headlight, the speaker, stuff like that. Manual control speed and handling obstacle avoidance, sensitivity, and really that's about it for the app and even the setup process. And so that is the setup process that I went through. It really is not that hard. Once you get your GPS antenna in the ground, make sure that there's nothing above it. Uh, that was why I ended up moving mine because mine was a little bit underneath the awning of my back deck. So I moved it to the right just a little bit. Moving it meant I had to remap, but I didn't mind that. Mapping was not hard at all. I was able to just easily drive it through the app which was super easy. I do wish it would have told me to start at the uh, charging station not at the edge of my lawn which is what it told me so I drove it to the edge that's why I had to map it like twice. Adding obstacles is easy so, so if you put something in your yard you're able to just go into your map add an obstacle use the app to drive your Novabot over to it and boom you've got an area where that it will avoid. At the end of the day two massive thumbs up to the setup process for the Novabot. Nice and easy anyone should be able to do it. Now for my review myself and my wife absolutely love this thing it is amazing we've been using it about a week we set it to cut our yard twice a week that's due to the fact that the grass here i swear in the summertime we will cut our grass on sunday and by like friday we could cut it again so so we set up a schedule for sunday and thursday wednesday or thursday either way it'll run twice a week i can say it only used about half of the battery to cut the uh backyard that i have this one will cut up to one fourth of an acre they do have the one that'll do half an acre but i can say if you are in a subdivision and if you have very flat land which is one of the key things here this thing would be perfect you can go out and make your line leave what you'd already have to weed eat and really just set this thing up and forget it it would run once a week or whenever you set it up would cut your grass you'd never have to worry about the HOA complaining at you again and also the cameras on it are like a security camera which is phenomenal people won't be able to easily steal it at the end of the day I really want a second one because due to our fence I would love to put one on the outside of my fence for my front yard uh, that way it could cut the front yard for us and then this one would cut the backyard and basically would never have to cut grass, which is just amazing. Well, we'd have to weed eat. But other than weed eat, you know, it'd take us 30 minutes twice a month to uh, do our entire yard work thanks to these Novabots. So that's just completely, completely amazing. So of course, if you would like a Novabot, I have a link down below to both the N1000 and, and the N2000. Well, it's the same link, but you could pick whichever one you want or need. They do also have a new light model as well. I saw that on their website. But thanks again to Novabot for sending this to me. Truly one of the best, most amazing 
products that I have ever tested. Everything worked as it should. And I will say, if you have hills, it works on the little hills that I have in my backyard. It is recommended for more flat grass. So if you have, you know, an acre in your subdivision, this thing would be phenomenal. Make you two maps and tell it to cut one map on Monday, one map on Tuesday. What's even better is the charge time. This thing only took like an hour and a half, maybe two hours to get a full charge from 20%. You could literally have it run twice in the same day and be able to cut your grass all at once or let it run on Sunday for the backyard and Monday for the front. Either way, highly, highly, highly recommend this. Everything worked as it should. A really, really great robotic lawnmower from Novabot. So that'll do it for this one. Like I said, link down below in the description if you'd like to buy one for yourself. And I mean, any other uh, robotic lawnmower companies, contact info is of course in the description as well. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you next time. Deuces.